Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to this Trustbuster Customs playthrough of TC Prequel. So last time we kind of looked around after our plane crash and found a dam that needs reactivating, as well as this little town compound. Now, kind of skimming over the walkthrough without reading too much into any one section, it seems that there are actually multiple approaches to this level in order to accomplish your goal. And the first main goal is simply to get out of this compound. So it looks like kind of our options are either get the power back on with the dam in order to get the gate to open the way it's supposed to, or we just bust the door down. Now we are going to go back to the dam because there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do there apparently that I would not have guessed at. But first, let's check out what's on the wall. Push to open close. Well, which is it? Is it, is it open or does it close? Did I just zap myself? I didn't take any damage, but it did make a zapping sound, so this looks like a secret. What do we got going on here? Do not drop. Hand truck only. Well, this looks like part of the generator system. Got a big old slash in it. Three shots. Okay, I can't do the hammer repair. Three shots. Is this a button right here? No. Okay. So I think this is just an easter egg. Equipment. Trucks. And also a radio. Can I do anything with this radio? Yes. A radio. Uh, I'm guessing it doesn't work and that's why she's like, oh. This is where the wall guy would nap when he's supposed to be on watch. Uh-oh. I, I don't think... I don't think we can put this back. I think I broke it. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I'm just gonna... gonna load. Because I want to know what's up on the wall as well. But yeah, so there's a bunch of different approaches we can try. We're going to... Maybe try both? We'll go one way, and then we'll go back and do the other way. Because I do like to try and cover as much as I can in these maps when I do them. So I don't think there's much we can do up here. But we can at least look beyond the wall. <laughs> we gotta be careful of that hand cart from the thread. People have said that it's very deadly about half the time. Though, there was also a note attached to this final beta version that it is less deadly now, less likely to explode you. Okay, so one more bit of snooping I want to do before we actually attempt any of these solutions is to go over to that one that had the sliding door on it, see if there's anything in that one. So I imagine that door has to be there for a reason. Also, I want to know what's down here. <laughs> Roaring. Trying to get to the goat. more of these guys? <laughs> Sounding considerably more threatening than they actually are. 
I mean, I could pick those guys off with my gun from up here, but no reason to. Also, I think we need that gun for at least one of the puzzles. I mean, maybe we can just climb down from here, and that's, like, one of the paths? No? Doesn't go anywhere. I'm curious if I can actually cheese this, because, you know, our, our goal is to get out of the compound. Can I just, like, slide down the inside of this fence? I'm not gonna stick with it if I do, I just want to see if I can. Nope. Oh, well, I survived. But yeah, the fence is not physical. I guess because it's higher than you can jump normally. But <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, easy way out of the compound. Okay. So I guess for this one... The first attempt we'll take is probably the uh, most complicated one, the, the regular dam path. So... I apparently missed some things as dam little things that we could have gotten in, including being able to shoot the door open. So I'm not sure if I missed something, because it said aim carefully and shoot the lock off the bottom door on the dam, but I don't remember seeing a lock. So, we're going to experiment a bit and see if we can pop that sucker open. But alternatively, a separate path from that is just activating the rail car. I guess there's a loose wire or something we can plug into that? I wouldn't have even thought to look for that. So, back to the dam. I guess that whole first area of the level, there's really nothing to find. Even, like, Easter egg-wise. I don't want to fall into that level seam. I'm not really sure what the point of this right here is. If it's just to show that, like, the power goes through the mountain there. Because we definitely can't get up there. Plus, it would be pretty lame to skip out on this whole fancy damn puzzle and just, you know, jump over the wall. Because puzzles are something that we don't get enough of in Trespasser because they're complicated and finicky to get working. So when they are working, I like to see them. I like to, you know, test them out. But yeah, it says aim carefully and shoot out the lock. I don't know if that means I just have to literally shoot the lock there. So we're going to make a save. TC prequel. Damn path. We only got three shots. Three left. We gotta be careful here. Not to waste it. Make sure to line up the sights. There we go. I guess that bullet means that we correctly hit it. because there isn't normally bullet decals. Okay, here's the elevator. We saw the shaft. Um, going down? Nope, that's where we are. Going, going, da down? Oh, okay, we're moving. Little wary about this elevator because I'm expecting to clip into it and then explode. Surprisingly smooth ride. I'm not like vibrating or anything. I don't think I've ever seen a working elevator in Trespasser. I 
I don't actually know what button I hit. Did I hit one when I meant to hit three? Shame we don't get a little snippet of elevator music here. Okay. Oh, it's a sliding gate. That I did get stuck in. My face is now stuck in it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just kind of slide it to the side. Caution, all in-gen employees be advised. Elevator under ongoing maintenance. If possible, please use stairs. <laughs> well, this is all still working. Two shots. Let's just say in-gen manual. This is how you in-gen. Empty. I want out of here. I want diet soda. I want copy machines and juice boxes and cartoons. Gate control? Blood control. Okay. So neither of these seem to be functional. Those are the two we'd actually want to activate. Intake control, that one also. And power management. Uh, that one... No dice. So, I think we need power just to get those going. Monitoring station number four is just a sine wave. This is a lift going up to the top. Trespasser magazine. Or is that... No. I was going to say Trespasser the comic, but I forgot that was not actually a real comic. It was a fan-made cover. For a non-existent comic. Okay, well there are stairs. Be careful not to get stuck in the ceiling like that uh, raptor in Uxmal. We need to find a source of that humming, because that's something we can probably interact with. Okay, this is the door that I uh, clipped right through because it's not physical. And there's the elevator shaft. Here is some machinery. Probably something we can actually do in here. Gate power cutoff. I, did I turn off the cutoff or did I turn on the cutoff? I don't know. Generally when you find levers and stuff in a game with puzzles, you flip all of them because they all do something. They wouldn't just be in the right position by default. Manually lifting sluice gate cannot be done by one technician. Both gate wheels must be turned in unison. Well, I can't even grab the wheel. So, no gates can be lifted by one technician. I wonder if there's like a trick I have to do to set this up. Because this seems like how I'm going to fill up the water for the turbine. What is this? Is this the main turbine? Right, let's make sure everything's connected down here. No broken bits. This all looks to be working. Hmm. Diesel fuel ports. Uh. Okay. Just gotta rub my hand on everything to see if it does anything. Huh. 
Just because this version of Anne has her own pilot's license doesn't mean she's also a technician who knows how to repair a hydroelectric dam. Okay. You know, I was going to say, where the hell is this even going to lead? The answer is apparently nowhere. So I don't know if there's anything we can do down here. All the uh, generators seem to be working as intended. But yeah, like, obviously we can't activate this sluice gate, sluice gate, by ourselves, but what other choice do we have? There's nothing else here. push this back up. Maybe this is the only thing we actually needed to interact with down here. Okay, there is actually an off and on. It's just very faint. So... Maybe that'll... reroute the gate power now? I mean... It looks like there's another floor below, so this must be floor two. Though, I think the first floor would be where we came in, isn't it? Same sign there, because this is, you know, this is where the the door you have to climb up the ladder to get to is, so I'm assuming floor one is where we came in, and floor three is where it currently is, which means we don't need to do anything else here. Maybe we just go back up to gate controls? See if that PC is powered up now. I mean, I thought we'd have to do a little more hands-on maintenance to get this thing working, but it seems to be mostly running. Is this anything? She grabs onto it. Gotta open this up to see what it is. Push it with my shoulder. Keep cargo hatch closed when lift is not in use. Okay. Pretty cool. I don't know, I just love any kind of moving machinery that actually works in Trespasser. Because there really wasn't much of that in the main game. Power management, still nothing. Intake control, still nothing. Flood control, nothing. Hmm. She does like the, the pointy finger when looking at this, but she doesn't actually press anything. Gate control. I can't tell if my arm is just not going far enough to hit the button. No. I think if I could push it, it would be pushed. Hmm. Is that a light switch? I can't tell if it's working. <laughs> They're in kind of like a gray state now. Okay. Light switch works, it's just not very noticeably dark in here. Which is weird, considering there's no windows. Okay.
So I think this thing is actually considered a separate solution. I believe this is the one that had a loose wire. Like I said, I skimmed over the walkthrough. I didn't really read any one section. But yeah, no power here. Is one of these loose? None of them look loose. Again, her boobs are getting in the way of actually seeing what's at my feet. No? I don't know. None of them look like they're, uh... Not connected. Unless they're not connected from the actual thing? No. They all seem to just go where they're supposed to go. Hmm. Oh. I guess it's on now. Maybe I stepped on the one that was out of place. Main power offline. Power backup available. Okay. I was like, is that going to go without me? But no, I think we've got it active now. So that'll be a save. So we've actually accomplished something. And let's see what's over here. I don't even know why we're going over here, honestly, but we're going to find out. No elevator music, but we do get tram music. Also, unlike the elevator, I am actually sliding in here. If I want to look out the window, I have to keep walking forward, but I'm starting to clip into the ceiling if I do that. Only two left. Kind of, for experiment's sake, I want to see if I can break these windows. Nope. Well, that was a pleasant little trip. Now, why are we here? Why are any of us here? But especially, why is Anne in this place? Okay, there's a key. I don't know what it's a key for. Got some moldy cardboard boxes. We got another radio. Yes. A radio. Aww. Aww. Nobody wants to talk to me. These windows are not real. I can put my arm through them. Actually, are these windows? They kind of look just like curtains. Okay, what is this a key for? Am I just supposed to guess? I imagine it's got to be something around here. And not like the bulldozer key. Only two left. What am I going to get rid of, though? Only two left. Only two left. I guess I have Only to two left. carry the gun because the key's gonna go in the pistol slot. Alright, well, hopefully I don't accidentally shoot myself. That would be a tragedy. And... There is nothing down here. So I guess the key was the only thing we needed. I just don't know what it's for. We got, like, a little pontoon boat. We can climb down to the water, but that seems like a bad idea. If I'm being quite honest. Also, I can't tell if that's the water level, or if that's just... different texture. I'm really tempted to jump on it. So I'm going to temper my temptation with a temporary save.
I wanted to see if she'd do like the, I really don't feel like swimming. It seems like the answer is no. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get some sweet Mosasaur Easter egg if we swim out there into the... Oh. Only two left. <laughs> Depths of the dam is what I was going to say. I got distracted because there's a bird up there. And I wasn't sure if it was actually moving or if it was just a model floating off in space. I can't climb this with the gun out. Oh, maybe I can't. Oh, shit. Only two left. Thankfully, the water actually seems to be, like, knee-deep up here. I'm just going to huck that up there. But yeah, I can't tell if that's a, a bird or a model outside the map. It seems like it's moving, but I think that's just the clouds that are moving. Two shots. Okay, so we got a key. Now we need to find a place to put said key. I mean, we have seen a fair few locked doors. Come on, you're not going to let me press the button with my gun? Two shots. Gotta grab it before it slides through the floor. So long, small platform. It was nice while it lasted. I get a close look at the Ruger Redhawk here. Only two left. I'm guessing, like most cool revolvers, this is not actually in production anymore. The Redhawk, <laughs> just like the Anaconda and the Python. Oh, I think we hit a crash. That is definitely a crash. Good thing we saved. Okay, so the game crashed. Unfortunately, loading the save means that the cable car did not work. You know, it wouldn't move when I hit the button, and if you jump in it after hitting the button, you just die. So, that's broken, but that's fine. I had to use uh, the teleport cheat to get back here. Basically, I swam across, realized there's a platform there to climb up to that side. There's nothing over there, but then I used the teleport cheat to jump from there to there. There's no real no-clip in Trespasser unless CE has its own cheats because the fly command basically just gives you a pop-out third-person camera, you know, if you want to take screenshots or whatever, but it doesn't actually let you turn it off and appear where you turned it off. You just go back to your body. So I couldn't just fly across here. Maybe the Trescom folks will let me know if there is actually a better command for that. But we managed to get back across with a key. Turns out we don't actually need the key, there is a way to circumvent it, because that is the key to get into the locked building in the compound. I do have to use the walkthrough here to kind of spoil a few things, but again, I'm just trying to make sure I cover everything that was put into the level. To make sure that we don't miss out on any of the hard work. So now that we got that, we need to actually go back down to the lounge. Two shots. Okay, this is also broken because of the uh, loading a save. It's really unfortunate because, you know, yeah, obviously it doesn't work great, but the alternative is just playing through the entire level in one sitting, which is not really practical. Though I wasn't having a problem loading saves, it was only after it crashed out and I had to load back in fresh that it was, you know, certainly giving me problems. But we don't need to use that elevator or any of the elevators since we can just climb down through here. The store is open, slash non-existent. So, let's see. Um, we want to go up. Apparently there was a key in this room that I just didn't see. But getting that key from the platform is a separate solution from doing the dam puzzle overall because again we can just go straight back to the town with that and open the door but the whole dam puzzle also makes use of the power station room you know 
down the mountain. So there's a key in here on the floor somewhere. Yeah, there it is there. Definitely didn't see that. Doesn't even really look like a key. We're gonna leave our Ruger here. Only two left. Here. <laughs> That's two so shots. slippery. There. Stay there. And we're gonna take this key. And this is the key to open the gate computer. I guess those were not power buttons, those were actually key slots. I think this is the gate control room? It's one of them. Just kind of, there we go. Gate power has been activated. Gate is currently closed. Raise gate, yes, no. Uh, yes. I think I have to stand back and then extend my arm. Gate is now open. Network link unavailable. Power transmission unknown. Okay. So now that that's done, we can leave the dam and go to the power station. I'm going to say that this elevator doesn't work and it's just going to kill me, but we'll try it. You know what? That is the third floor button. Uh, well, it worked for about a second. That's fine. Thankfully, it is non-essential. Only two left. So we don't really need it. But it does seem that the main purpose of this revolver is to solve a couple different potential puzzles. Most of them are how do I open a door. <laughs> I don't even think we can get in the dam without the revolver. Okay, so now we'll slide down the ladder, head over to the power station, and that should, once we figure it out, power up the gate so that we can just open it without having to do anything else. I think once we get the gate open, we will check out the other paths before continuing with the level, because I think there's less of a optional split after the gate. I think it's more linear once we get out there. More of a standard huh. trespasser huh. level. Huh. Huh. Also, the other paths will take considerably less time than the damn one here. This is the longest one, I think. Okay, so we fixed that. And there's a... I don't know if that green pixel means that we did it correctly. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's my rock. forgot about my rock. Okay, so... Water is now flowing... I don't know if I need to do something there. I think there's a couple steps to this process. One of them was plugging in the fuse. Uh, does this open? It doesn't look like it opens. There's nothing to latch on to. Obviously this thing's not running or it would be making a loud humming sound. So I'm pretty sure I need to pull this. It might not be until I do something else first, though. Let's try the computer. These all... Oh, no, that one's kind of sticking out a little bit. Is it? Oh, well, maybe they're all sticking out a little bit. Okay, so not those. I mean, none of these panels look like they're interactable. I think we need to open one of these, if I remember correctly. Ooh. This one? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a interactable lever. Kind of just pressing itself. Okay, we pull that. Don't know what that did. Still didn't get the computer running. Maybe I don't need the computer. 
Um, is there anything down here that I need to mess with? I think this is literally just to see that, yep, the water is flowing. Okay, now do we pull the switch? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is on now. There's not really anything left to interact with on it. Two shots. Which means that, uh, oh, computer's on. Status, auto restart in progress. Make sure I don't have to touch anything. I'm wondering if I had to maybe lock this back into place afterwards, but no, I think this is all doing what it's supposed to. Two shots. And I'm tempted to go up and look at the control room in the dam, but I think that's actually not something we need to do because those need keys, so now we should be able to just head back to the compound and open the gate. I assume. And if not, we use the magic of skipping around. <laughs> but yeah, so that's like the longest solution. And then getting the key to open the admin building is the second longest. And then the fastest one is just to go to the town and shoot the lock off of the admin building. And after we try out this gate, I think that'll be the end of this second part, so this is about as long as I expected. I thought it was going to be a multi-parter. And it's not the only long Trespasser map I have left either. I still have to check out the Trescom 20th anniversary map that they made. You know, it was a collaboration to celebrate Trespasser's 20th anniversary. That came out, like, two years ago? I forget what year Trespasser came out. Was it 1998? I think it was 1998, 1997, 98 sounds right to me. Not too long before Half-Life came out, which is also 98. And as I've said before in, I don't know if it was my Half-Life videos or my Trustbaster videos, but the folks at Valve did take inspiration from Trespasser in terms of, like, the physics and everything. They saw it while, you know, Trespasser was in development and showing off its game systems for entirely too many years. They went, yeah, that's pretty cool. We should try to do something like that in our game. In our Quake-like that became less Quake-like as it went along. But yeah, I think that e even faster than shooting the lock off would be my strategy of just jumping down the fence. Because I bet Rebel did not account for that one. Okay. Moment of truth. Boop. Yeah. Da 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 only two left. Yes. Alright, so this is the way to go. Regardless of how we get through this door. But, like I said, we're not actually going to go out here until we are done with the alternatives. So I'm going to save this as TC Prequel main. This is now our main timeline. And I guess we'll figure out what door this uh, key goes to, since we have it. It is 
this brick building, the one that I couldn't find a way into. Wait, is it this one? Isn't this the one I smashed the window out of? Oh, it was, but you know what? The, the room there doesn't have any access to the second floor. I believe the second floor is the office. I didn't even think of that when I broke in there, that we didn't find a way to get to the top floor. What's up with that sliding door on the gate, then? You know, that one tower that has a door that looks like you can slide it up. Yeah, so we could use the key to open it like this. Or... Um, which one was it? I think it was this one? That we started on? Instead of going all that way, we can just shoot the lock off instead, the same way we did to get into the dam. And I think this is, you know, kind of a convergence here between those two paths, so we'll only have to cover what happens after getting this office open. Three left. And then we can find out what's beyond the gate. That's it. Or <laughs> I can fuck up and not successfully That's it. hit the lock even though it says you can't need the walkthrough. But yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get this open for the start of next episode. We'll start off with that and get this bulldozer running, and then we'll continue beyond the wall. So thank you for joining me for another part of TC Prequel, and I hope I'll see you for some more of it next time. Until then, y'all take care. <laughs>